fishing this area. Oh, there they are. There they are. There we go, we got him. So tomorrow, I'm gonna to head out fishing, gonna meet up with my buddy Trail Chaser, David Foreman, the fishing guy that you saw on the previous video of me going out, and we absolutely slay the fish. I mean, we tore, in, tore into them, we found them all schooled up in the very shallow muddy water. If you haven't watched the video, it's right here. Go ahead and check it out. It was an epic, awesome day. But nonetheless, I got a new package in the mail, got some new Salt Native, so with that in mind, today's video is sponsored by Ketchco and Salt Native. Now, if you don't know what Salt Native is, Salt Native is a, a designated saltwater fishing lure company that's brought out by Ketchco, and they have some awesome lures. You've been seeing me catch a lot of fish, especially on the Skelly Swim right here. And once again, guys, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna tell you what works because I have to make videos on YouTube and I have to use products that help me catch fish and these catch a lot of fish. The link, if you're interested, is in the description box below. Check it out yourself. If you're a Shop Carl's member, you save 30%, and this pack right here is only $3.50 if you're a Shop Carl's member. Otherwise, it'd be close to five bucks, so $3.50 is significant savings. Uh, if you're like me, you like to go through a lot of packs and get a lot of lures, it's well worth checking out. Target's gonna be trout this time. We're gonna target trout and, of course, redfish. Flounder is gonna be a little bit hard because it's kind of late in the season, but we're gonna try our best anyway, so you guys stay tuned. A couple of good cold days, but it had to have happened because the water temperature, like what is the water right now? 60. Well, it says 53, but it'll, it'll probably drop a couple of degrees after it right. gets situated. See, 53 is even colder than I thought. I thought it was just in the 60s, but... Probably in the late afternoons, it's 60s. Yeah, but I mean, compared to the normal, which was like 70, uh -huh. right up until those cold fronts. So that yeah. dropped a good 20 degrees, and that, that's what drives them all into that deep water. Perfect. They How deep like, is it there? 10 uh, feet? There are pockets that are like 18 and 20 feet deep wow. out here. Wow, okay. Going to see if we can catch some fish on the salt native. Let's see, which one, which one shall we use? <laughs> we got a bunch here. Let's just pick a color and go with it. Okay, I got the mullets, got the glitter bomb. I got, I think I'm gonna use this, the rusty penny. This has been absolutely great and the water clarity is pretty good. So let's go and try this one out right here. The rusty penny on a 1 8 ounce 4 out hook. I need to cut my tail in because a lot of you guys start griping if I don't cut my tail in. But you know what? I'm going to troll you guys. I'm going to leave it here and just let it bother you guys. <laughs> I, know. I, I think yeah, it looks I like an antandy. It's like I knew right off the bat when I watched Mark's video. He was like at Texas City and he was catching some little redfish and he got excited about it. And I was like, that, that dude seems really cool, you know? I bet mean, he'd like to catch some slot reds. <laughs> he excited about a little redfish, you know? So I just like send a message like, hey man, if you're ever bored and you want to come fish down here, hit me up. It was like an hour later, he was like, when and where, and I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> you're like, okay. Yeah. That was probably like, what, three or four years ago? The water is very, very calm. I'm going to see if I can target some speckled trout because winter time, some big old girls come out and play. So let's see what happens. Here we go. First cast. Let's see. Let's just work our way around. There's going to be some oysters by that, by the grass line right here. It's not deep at all. It's like right at two feet, maybe a little bit under. But we're going to look for some blow ups. Hopefully some trout's going to be working. I'm not really sure what the tide is doing to be honest with you. But um, we're out here, man. We're having a lot of fun. Damn, the water's really clear, bro. Oh, yeah. The water's very clear. Man, that's nice looking water. About what, foot and a half of visibility? Dude, that's so nice. There we go. First fish, smaller guy. <laughs> Seems like a small red. Yeah, he's gonna be a smaller red. Look at that, nice fish. First fish on the skelly shrimp. <laughs> Just slow rolling it. That's promising, man. The water is so clean. Looks so good. This is a this is a Louisiana slot, folks. As I stated earlier, if you want to eat fish in Louisiana and make it legal, this guy be it. He's probably about 17 and a half, 17 incher. Nice fish. Just let him go. Later, dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there are some redfish here that just popped on this shoreline near these oyster beds. So I am going to try to see if I can intercept them. I'm going to take a break at trout fishing for now because. When you see redfish, you see an opportunity, you have to try to take advantage of it. Oh yeah. 
Okay, yeah, there's a school of reds coming right at us too. So let's kind of work our way that way and hopefully we can get them. Oh, there's a red. That was him right there. Let's see if we can get him. Yeah, I don't I don't see the disturbance. There was that one red right here I just missed. All right, they got to be here somewhere. Oh, up there? Yeah, that's got to be red right there. All right, let's get them before they leave. <laughs> let's get at least one. Oh, there we go. That's a red. This is going to be a smaller guy. Oh, no, he might be right at slot. But that's a school of reds. This is, he was part of the group, the posse that we saw earlier. <laughs> There we go. I mean, they're not large dudes, but once again, another Louisiana slot, and he got it right in the eye, man. I am sorry, brother. Sorry, but yeah, beautiful red. That's what we saw earlier on this shoreline. Hopefully, they're bigger ones. I just saw a tail pop there. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, let me get that on film. Oh, yeah. Some reds up there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to catch them. Instead, I want to show you guys on film what I experienced on the water just because I love y'all very much and you know I, I catch fish I mean I'm not the best fisherman in the world but I rather sometimes just get it on film because it's a sight to behold believe me ladies and gentlemen looks like maybe two to three small guys but still right on the surface right there All yours, buddy, if you want. I'll, I'll get you. I'll film you. All right, well, we had the opportunity for those reds, but for some reason they got spooked. I don't know. That's fishing for you sometimes. It wasn't a, that big of a school, maybe two or three of them at most, maybe four. Uh, they just went off more into the river here. But uh, we're going to keep on fishing this grass line, and maybe we can sight cast them because the water is so beautiful. It is absolutely spotless, so clean. Like I said, at least a foot minimum of visibility, probably maybe up to 15 inches. Oh, reds. God, that was a big one right there. That was a huge red. They're just sitting right here at this point. Oh, there's another red right there. Another smaller red right there. He didn't get spooked. Yeah, there he sees me. He's right there. Oh, it's two of them. There's another one right there. <laughs> hey, bro, you lost? Yeah, he's a smaller guy. Small dude, small dude. All right, there's a, there's a tailing red right over here. We got the trail chaser. There's another, oh, there's two, three of them right there. He's gonna see if we can get that. Huh. Not interested. He was tailing. That was 100% redfish. Wow. I thought I'd seen everything. Reds are here, but they just don't want to eat. It's the craziest thing. There they are right there. Holy smoke. What is going on here, people? There's something there. There we go. We got him. We got him. Finally. No, I'm stuck on oyster. What the heck happened? Traded you out. Dude, what is going on here, bro? <laughs> what is? There he is, right here. He's like, hey, dude. <laughs> you like that magic trick? <laughs> Holy smoke! That was a red, dude. <laughs> what the heck's going? On? I might have to go micro. Yeah, because I'm, I'm wondering if that's what it is, is they're just so keyed in on this super tiny shrimp right now that they're kind of put off by the bigger bait for some reason. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. <laughs> just blind casting. So I think they might be back there, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, he's probably about 21, 22 incher. Not a huge dude, but still a drag puller. Hey, man, don't on my parade <laughs> no he's a slot red that's a slot that's gonna be a slot dude look I know my slot reds all right and this guy 
<laughs> David, you only that's a 20? No, 19 and 3 quarter all day. You think so? I think he's a 20, man. Feed him some more plastic. <laughs> uh, we have this ongoing debate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call him a slot. David says 19 and 3 quarters, but I mean, dude, this guy is going to be right at, I, I'm, I'm willing to bet he's going to be like 20, maybe 20 and a quarter. That's pushing it, but uh, I mean, nice redfish on the skelly swim. I'm going to call him my first keeper. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? You comment below, because honestly, I'm a big dude, all right? Me across, I mean, he's definitely almost shoulder to shoulder. And uh, <laughs> David wants David wants me to prove it, man. What a... I thought he's a friend. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. There we go. All right, here's the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. All right, oh, no. Right. Look at that, 20 and a half inch, 20, almost 21, 20 and three quarters. First slot. I had to prove it to David. He always underestimates. He forgets I'm Asian. We're 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 like we're born in math. <laughs> all right buddy thank you for being my first keeper today on the skelly swim there you go buddy have a good time Woo! just like that man i mean gosh i must have put eyes on at least 20 redfish today i couldn't get them to bite i was using different type of lures finally got this just blind casting this middle of this channel we're gonna go way back and see if we can catch one more and then call it a day oh shoot i'm not even paying attention Dude, it's deep. Four feet. Three and a half. I missed him, huh? That was a red. I didn't see him. I just saw there we go. Oh, wow. Nice. He, well, he's got some pull. Let's not drag. <laughs> He might be about the same size as the first one, but hey, man, don't don't make fun of my fish I catch. <laughs> All right, my friend. Yeah, he's gonna be another nice slot red, probably about 23 incher. Come on in here, buddy. You're done. Crocodile rolls. Yeah, come on, buddy. Oh yeah. Good fish, good fish, good fish. Oh yeah, he's about 23, you want him? Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Another good sized redfish. The previous one was about 22 inches. He's, he's bigger, so I would 23 and a half, maybe right at 23 and a quarter. Beautiful redfish. Man, that's already two keepers. One more and I have a limit. You know, well, let's see if we can catch one more. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get a little bit greedy, right? And we got you hooked really good and you are sliming up from that marsh oh there we go yeah man we missed a lot of opportunities but all of a sudden we are cashing in thank you my friend <laughs> wow all right well you know what let's just do one more because our bait is still intact very strong bait right here got a little blood got a little redfish blood on it maybe that'll work Oh, there they are. There they are. There we go. We got him. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> there's another one right here. <laughs> this not. They're not big guys, but it's just I side side cast him, saw him. Yeah, he's probably about 22, maybe. Yeah, he's pulling. 
He's gonna be slotting, no doubt. Man, this, there's like Look at that. Oh, that's a good red, dude. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a good red. All right, there's my limit, folks. Well, I don't want to talk too soon because bad luck always happens to Asians for some reason. <laughs> oh man, that's a beautiful. Yeah, he's a big dude. He's. A, hey, look at all that bait. You see all that bait? No, no, I got him. He's good. He's a. He's he's gonna be a mid slaughter, dude. Oh yeah. Very nice. All right, we got gotcha. you. Oh, he's a good red, dude. That's probably a six, maybe seven pounder, dude. I'm thinking. Last redfish for today. A limit of red on the Skelly Swim. I am super, super happy. I came out with my boy Trail Chaser, who is an official licensed guy. You've seen him in my couple of my other videos. If you're looking for a good guy to put you on the fish, David over there is the man. Everything's linked in the description box below, but. Yeah, man, really happy. Catch Coast Skelly Swim, man. What a great bait. Let's see how big this dude is. Yeah, seven pounds, brother. Nice. Per boga, seven pounds. What do, you, what do you think? About 26, 25? 23. <laughs> you're a hater, dude. He said he said 13. You can believe that. That's what you get if you're fishing with David, man. Sarcasm. All right. All right, buddy. Thank you for let me sight cast you. Get out of here. There he goes man and there you have it guys a limit of reds thank you to catchco who's sponsoring this video the salt native brand thank you so much if you guys are interested make sure you click that link in the description box below go check out the same lures i use today on the channel if you like this video hit that like button leave a comment let me know what you guys think also uh, consider subscribing if you want to join me on my fishing adventures which I fish up and down the Texas coast from Louisiana all the way down to Laguna Madre. I fish everywhere. Just come along, man. Hit that bell notification and let you guys know when I do release a video. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.